yeah, I couldn't be more proud of our guys. But this was an uh, incredible first half performance. Uh, just, um, I thought our defense was outstanding. Um, you know, we just, we were at an incredible level of pace on offense. Just uh, guys moving and cutting and sharing the ball. And certainly want to thank our crowd. I thought they had an impact in the game in terms of energizing our team. And, and uh, you know, we've, we've, uh, we've had guys in the, on the team get better. You know, Trey's getting a little bit better. And Alex certainly is making an impact. Um, you know, it's just one of those games where now John Newman plays at another level and gives us that extra guy that we need. Uh, making shots. So just a fantastic team win um, against a very good, very well coached team that we have a lot of respect for. Coach, how much of an advantage is it when it seems like any number of guys on your team can step up and have a big big game like, like John did today? I mean, one game it's, it's Hunter Tyson, the next game it's Tyson yeah, Mack. Yeah, we've had several guys have big games, which I think is important. Um, you know, it's a, it's a little frustrating at times because there's not – not the consistency from some of them that we would like and that we need if you're going to be, you know, a top tier program in the league. That, that just, you have to have guys that play, play great a lot, uh, almost every time out. And we're getting a bunch of different guys that are having good games. And when we get them, you know, three or four on the same day offensively, uh, it gives our team a chance to play with, with most teams in our league. When they cut it to 10 there, number of guys just hit yeah. big, big mm -hmm. shots. Is that just a product of confidence? Uh, well, I hope so. Um, you know, we, I don't know that we have like one just go-to player. Certainly Amir is kind of <coughs> probably who we play through the most. And, you know, he plays at a high level. That helps us because he's not only scoring, he's passing it. He's, you know, we're using him to facilitate our offense. Um, but that's, you know, a little bit what happened at Pitt is they cut it to six and we, I think we had three great offensive possessions in a row. Um, Al had two of them, where he made a, a drop-off pass to Amir off a ball screen. He made a pull-up jump shot off a ball screen, and then we scored again on a play. Um, and that's what you have to do is you have to answer other teams' runs. Um, you're not going to keep a team like Louisville or just about anybody at home when we were playing Pitt you know, from going on a little stretch. I mean, you've got to be able to be good enough to withstand that. You know, certainly that's been our trouble is we haven't shot the ball well enough, you know, to do that all the time. Uh, there have been some games where we've gone back and when we chart it and look at our shot selection, we feel like our numbers are pretty good. Uh, some are better than others, but, you know, there's some games we've lost where we felt like we've executed probably better than what our stats show. Um, and some of it's a product of just our players continuing to get better and build confidence. And, you know, some of them it's experience. There's a lot of guys, John Newman was a, you know, really didn't play a lot last year. Um, obviously, our freshmen, this is their first year of dealing with this, and they're good players, but they're not physically, uh, they're not like a David Johnson who can physically overpower you as a freshman. Our guys have to make the right decisions. Alex and Al have to have to play the right way, they have to make shots. There's no physical uh, ability that's going to allow them to dominate their opponent. They've got to do it out of within the system of how we play. And so that's execution. And uh, if you don't execute well, then it doesn't go well. Uh, but I think that's what's improved. Um, and hopefully it continues. You know, when we get multiple guys playing well, we're, again, we're, we're a good team. What's been the biggest difference, Brad, in the last two games? Is it just a confidence thing or just? Yeah, a little bit. Sometimes that happens. Um, you know, I, I, we, we played well defensively in both games. And sometimes that helps you because then you're, you're getting out in transition. Maybe you get a couple shots, you know, the easier an easier way. You don't have to manufacture everything with your offense, which is hard in college basketball and in your league. You know, we've played this many games, and everybody knows everything and knows your personnel and knows your favorite plays, and so you got to really execute, or uh, guys got to make, you know, shots. And uh, you know, we haven't changed a lot. Um, we've just kind of stuck with what we're doing. You know, the last two games we've we've played better. Certainly, you know, I thought we played reasonably well in our game against Notre Dame. Um, not having a mirror is a factor for our team because he's our best offensive advantage. And so, when we don't have him, that's that's problematic. Um, 
So I don't know that we've played you know, bad basketball all the time. I've, I've told you guys this, there are a lot of times when you can play pretty good basketball in this league, but because of the quality of the competition, it, it, you know, it's not going to be enough some nights. Um, you know, our league, I, I was asked this at Pitt, our league has gotten a little bit of a bad rap because we only got four teams right now that they think are going to make it. Um, <coughs> I would tell you that a lot of that happens because of what happens in the, in the pre, pre-conference, the non-conference scheduling. It's almost like whatever happens before your conference gets labeled and like, you know, that makes it difficult to, to change. You know, um, and there's no question the league's not quite as talented as last year or some of the other years when we had three top seeds and all that. But the teams at the bottom of the league are better. The teams in the bottom are much better. And, you know, whoever you want to say can beat anybody on any given night. There's no, like, we, and that's happened. That some of the better teams have lost, you know, games against the – middle to bottom half teams in the league because the bottom half teams are, have gotten better. They're different. And uh, maybe they've been, they're more healthy. Maybe it's some freshmen are now playing different. Um, but, be, you know, it doesn't matter. Uh, you know, it makes it hard because you, your net's down or whatever from things that happened in November and December. And so it's, it, it makes it look like the teams are overmatched and they're not. Um, there's a lot of teams in the middle of our league that are playing very good basketball, especially when you play at home. Um, it's an advantage, and, and it's hard to win on the road. How concerned with, were you when Amir picked up that third foul just after halftime, or did you trust yeah. him to be able to? to well, we, I mean, I have a lot of faith in Amir, and we tried to. We had some things planned to help him if we needed to. We were going to do some doubling, and and uh, we played more zone to try to protect him a little bit. Yeah, it was a concern, no question. What about the job John did on Laura, and then the overall physical nature of your of your defense? Yeah, uh, John was great. Uh, he's done a good job uh, battling him. He's an unbelievable, talented player. Um, you know, us scoring, I thought, really helped us, uh, gave us energy to defend. You're more energized. I think John having a big offensive game, making some shots, crowds going crazy, that energizes you to defend even harder. You know, I've told, <coughs> I've told you guys, like, that's a huge thing, I think, in Death Valley. When the game starts in Death Valley, when we're on defense in the first play, the whole place is going crazy. And if it gets to third down, like, look out. It, it's just insane. And it's like first quarter, you know. And we, we might be up 21-3 to three in a game, and it's the beginning of the second quarter, and they're still doing it. And when our crowd's doing that here, it energizes your team. And uh, make a couple shots, man, guys are coming over. I mean, they're, our guys were tired because of the adrenaline. Our guys were exhausted in the first half because of the adrenaline. They were playing with such pace and they were so excited and playing well and just that, you know, their hearts were about to beat out of their chest, a couple of them, and they were asking to come out of the game. And, uh, you know, I thought our bench helped us in the first half. Brad, we talked about foul shots at different points of this season. Yep. They're clear, they were clearly challenging you guys to mm -hmm. make them down the stretch, and you did. I mean, that's got to be tough. Yeah, it does. It does. It, you know, uh, obviously our – Last two minute defense, our two minute drill needs a little work on defense because they are they were scoring in about six seconds, so it made it last forever. But we did a good job. They were pressing us. You know, we got it in. We looked up the floor. We, you know, handled that well. They obviously were fouling some. Guys made shots, made free throws. We missed a couple, which you're gonna miss a couple when they foul as many times as they did. But by and large, our guys were good. Um, you know, we got confidence in them and and. Uh, they show that we've been, you know, like anything, we've been working on them. We've been working on them all year, and I think some guys, you know, get in a little rut and they'll start to work their way out of it. Brad, you've got some young guys on this team. When you guys lost three straight, who kind of stepped up from a leadership standpoint? Good, good thing. Well, Amir obviously does. I mean, he's he's our probably our top guy in that area. Clyde, I think, has been good. A little more quiet personality, but uh, serious in nature. Um, but I've told you guys all year that this team has been tremendous to coach. Like